controversy. And with this particular video, I want to talk about Takashi or Takesha 69 officially signing his death certificate. I didn't want to talk about this video, but I had to go in on it. He's officially signed his death certificate. And it's crazy what individuals are willing to do for internet hype, for attention, to stay relevant. It's crazy what they do. And Takesha 69 or Takashi 69 is an example of that. He's basically came out and declared war on Chief Keith and the Glow Gang. And he's really trying to claim New Jersey. Some niggas fell out of New Jersey or Treyway. And he's trying to put this gang or this group of individuals against Chief Keith. So he really wants to start a Chicago versus New Jersey beef that is necessary that they orchestrate and create and engineer this violent situation. That they worship violence. They can't live without violence. They are adrenaline junkies and they are negative energy vampires. And this is an example. But he has officially signed his death certificate. And I think that's what he has in common with Tupac. That they are willing to sacrifice their life to have some relevancy in the matrix. To immortalize themselves in the world of media. In the cyber world, in a digital reality. They want to immortalize themselves, so they're willing to die. And it doesn't matter. They're willing literally to lay down their lives to, in their mind, become legends. And to try to stay relevant indefinitely. But this Hispanic here, he didn't sign his death certificate. He has declared open season on himself and he want a lot of bodies to go with him. So he don't want to, he don't even want to just like a samurai end it with dignity and take his own life. He wants to take other people down with him and he wants to contribute to black on black violence as an outsider. Because now it's a narrative where a lot of black people are willing to get involved in this because it's, it seems like it's hip hop. And it's about drill music, and it, it just seems like, you know, that's what it's about, and that's kind of universal. That's not dealing with nationality or color, but what you have here is an infiltrator and a culture vulture that's now influencing violence within the black community. We've let these infiltrators take over hip-hop, take over our culture, and now they are inspiring and influencing negativity violence, murder, and mayhem among us against ourselves. Because most of the people standing behind him in this video are black. That's supposedly riding with him. Treyway in New Jersey. And most people riding with Chief Keith are black in Chicago. And what is the nationality of Takesha here or Takashi 69? He's an outsider. So they then took over our music, took over our culture, and now they're inciting violence and mayhem. I mean, this is deep. He's crucifying himself for attention, martyring himself for attention, for YouTube likes, for views, album sales, recognition. We have become a very soulless people, a very ignorant people. That life itself has lost all its value to the point where the only relevance to your existence is bloggers talking about you. It's blogs with your names in them. Media hype. That's the only value to your existence with all the money you have. 
the only value to your existence to the point that they're willing to die and go out just to say they were somebody in an artificial reality. So you just got several things going on with this story, which is why I had to touch on it. You have an infiltrator within black culture and community. They claim he's Hispanic, but look very white. Look like a look very much like a cracker. A rainbow bright cracker. And now he's infiltrated, made money off our culture, exalted himself as a representative of our culture, of our music. And now he's using his platform to incite violence, mayhem and murder within our community and black on black crime and willing to crucify himself for this demonic agenda because he has definitely signed his own death certificate and declared open season on himself. I mean, I had to touch on that. Y'all watch how this play out. We should have learned from Tupac and Biggie. We should have learned from the East Coast and West Coast beef. We should have learned from that and became more conscious and more aware and learned from the past. But no, we crave the hype. We crave that violence. We, 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 we crave that type of sensationalism. We have become a very vampiric world a very vampiric human beings that ultimately feed off of our blood. We feed off our own bloodshed. And the Illuminati that we fear, we are worse than that Illuminati because we have nothing to gain but a thrilling moment from the destruction of individuals and society right in front of our faces. It's King Noble Black Supremacy signing out.